surviving infidelity, push-pull. When I finally distance myself from my wayward wife, and start putting up clear boundaries, working on divorce, she tells me she's truly sorry and wants to be forgiven. She further asks, what is going on with us, as if the last few months and divorce planning never happened. She states that because my family and friends know about her infidelity, she will never feel accepted or respected by anyone who is my support system, and that's is why she can't be with me. She feels betrayed that I started talking to my family and friends for support during the pandemic and did not tell her. She states she only talked to one person about her feelings, her affair partner, and I talked to 10. That I ruined her reputation, and was basically gossiping behind her back. I know I don't have to justify myself, but stuff like that makes me so goddamn angry, resentful, and bitter. After one year of pure suffering and growth, and me trying my best to not react to her but respond with kindness, while drawing clear boundaries, she asks for forgiveness? She says she's truly sorry it didn't work out, that no matter what happens, we have a soul connection. What the hell? Where was this six months ago when we were doing marriage counseling and she was still talking to her affair partner on the side, about how much she loved him and missed him? Did she not see that she would lose me, lose us? I'm so sick and tired of this woman's push and pull, the drama, the emotional swings. Sorry for ranting Reddit, but some days, even though I'm healing and moving on, I get so upset. Now for the top comments. You didn't ruin her reputation, she did. You just informed people who she really is. She simply isn't taking responsibility for her actions and behavior, and is mad she is being held accountable. Unremorseful cheaters can't stand accountability. If I'm in your shoes, I tell her forgiveness is impossible at this point and will be impossible until you learn to take responsibility for what you did and who you are. Why are you still in contact with her? It seems that it only brings you pain. I get it, it sucks, that said, you seem committed to moving on which seems to be the correct choice. She is slash was likely in limerence, and as the fog clears, she is confused by the reality she created. Sad yes, but all we can do in life is move forward. Good luck. If she hadn't been unfaithful, you wouldn't have needed to reach out to people for support. I hope you feel strong enough to leave, it shouldn't be up to the unfaithful one to decide what the next step is. She feels betrayed? Her reputation wasn't all that important to her when she chose to cheat. All you did was tell them what you know, and that's probably not even the whole story. She's still got some dirty little secrets that she's chosen not to share. Guess her self-image is more important to her than taking responsibility for her actions, overcoming them and truly reconciling. She thought that she was the power partner, and has just worked out that she's not all that. This sounds like it's past the time to go complete no contact and block. Give her time to work out what the consequences of her actions really are. Time to tell her support network the truth, and a fair partner significant other too. She thought you'd just take it and it would be harmless fun for her. She's still trying to control you, so don't back off. Instead, escalate. Better hope you don't have a soul connection. You and your support network know exactly where hers is heading. Now for the next story. How did you get over the pain of being cheated on and what did you do to overcome devastating pain? I, male 53, been with my wife, female 54, for 23 years. We suffered from the loss of our first child together, and then went on to have three more kids, have gone through countless moves, her losing her job and me sticking by her through cancer. She was my absolute best friend and we have been through everything together. I have done nothing but adore our whole lives together. I found out about two months ago, that she had been having an affair with an ex-co-worker. I have since moved out of the house and have been living with a buddy as I have nowhere else to go. The kids are devastated, and have no idea why we have separated. We haven't started divorce proceedings yet, but I plan to. I can't bear to tell the kids the truth. They have no idea what she's done and I know it will break them. They think we are on a trial separation. We had been arguing a lot about money and other issues prior to me moving out, she's been begging for me back, asking for a second chance saying she made a mistake, and that she wants to go to marriage counseling. Part of me wants to do this, for the sake of all we've been through, and our kids. But I am not ready to even consider it yet. I am so depressed, my heart is really broken. Because of COVID I haven't been able to see my extended family for a long time, so I don't have much support. The kids have come over to see me often but I can't even tell them the truth and it's eating me up inside. She won't, as she wants us to try again and doesn't want this to get out, but I just can't bear it. I honestly don't know who I married and I feel so empty inside. Just looking for some support really or someone to talk to. 
I haven't told my family yet, nor has she told hers. I feel like telling them is like my worst nightmare becoming real and I just can't face it. Any advice? Now for the top advice. Dude you need to tell your kids your family. Trust me, you will get the support you need to deal with this. Part of the reason you feeling like crap is you're keeping this to yourself. No good comes from that. The more you talk about it with friends and family, the better your emotional well-being becomes. If you are crazy enough to consider reconciliation with your wife, then one if the thing she has to do is come clean with her family and your kids. This is important to prove that she will own her mistakes, and that she will not repeat them and prove to you she made a mistake which of course, cheating is not a mistake. I'm sorry you are going through this, and unfortunately now you are part of the betrayed spouse club. Yup. Telling everyone creates a social pressure that will help keep her faithful if you decide to reconcile. Right now, you're shielding her from the consequences of her actions. No consequences equals another affair. Why are you protecting your cheating wife? Even after all the hardships you have endured together, she has betrayed you in the worst way. Keeping this secret is making you sick. Why protect her and her evil? Let her suffer the consequences of her actions. Is this the example you want to set for your children? Covering up deceit and not being honest with them? Yeah, I've been speaking to my buddy and he agrees. I'm gonna bring the kids over and explain everything. I don't want them to think this is ever okay. I don't know if we will ever recover from this as a family. I didn't want to have to do this, as it felt too real and that we really will be splitting for good. I'm just so shocked. I don't even know when or how to tell my extended family, she's like a daughter to them. I just don't know how she could do this to us. There is an old saying delay is the deadliest form of denial. Until today, you and your soon-to-be ex-wife have delayed telling everyone about her affair in a classic rug sweeping attempt. The problem is, that mound of trash that you have been sweeping under the rug has grown into a mountain in the middle of the room. Here is a game plan that might help. 1. Meet with an attorney today and get the paperwork for a divorce started. 2. Get a test for STIs yesterday. 3. Go to individual counseling for yourself. 4. Start an exercise program. If the gyms are closed due to COVID, then walk for a few miles per day at the same time. Make it a routine. Do some push-ups halfway through the walk at a park. Do some more when you get back. 5. Avoid marriage counseling with her, unless she's willing to agree to the terms you have set for the counseling. Those terms should be a confession to your children, family and friends, along with real remorse where she prioritizes your wellness above her own. 6. Have the divorce papers served to her. This will make it real for her, as right now outward appearances are more important to her than her relationship with you. 7. If she asks what can she do to stop the divorce from moving forward, tell her to write out the timeline of her relationship with her affair partner, then tell her she needs to sit down with the kids, family and friends, and tell them that her affair is the reason why you moved out. 8. Make her confess her affair to the wife slash girlfriend of the affair partner if he has one. 9. If she doesn't comply by this playbook, then move forward with the divorce. The next story is titled. Reconciling with cheating spouse but feeling disgusted when it comes to intimacy. I found out about a year ago that my husband of 15 years, I'm 35, he's 37 and we have two kids, has been cheating on and off, via dating app slash finding random women, for several years at least. He and I were separated for 8 months, and after going to counseling, seeing some positive changes in his behavior, he quit drinking for example, I let him come back to the house back in December. I am really enjoying our relationship and spending time together as a family again. There's something different about him, in a good way, and I feel more at peace with him than I have in years. However, when it comes to intimacy, even kissing him, I feel totally closed off. Disgusted actually. The other night, he asked me what he would have to do to make me feel comfortable with X again, and I honestly have no clue. Even him rubbing my leg while we're sitting on the couch watching TV makes me involuntarily make a face because I feel so gross just thinking about intercourse with him. I plan on bringing this up at our next therapy session, but I guess I kind of wanted to see if other people had felt similarly, I'm sure I'm not alone, and what, if anything helped you get past this, or if it was eventually something that led to the end. Thanks for reading. Now for the top advice. You may have reached the point that you've lost feelings for him. The proverbial, I love you but not in love with you. You love him as a best friend and for the great life you all have together, but his actions made your heart fall out of love. Quite honestly, it's difficult to get it back. It's hard to force the heart to want what it doesn't want. 
Good post. It is not only hard to get back that feeling, sometimes it may never come back at all. You've lost feelings for him and it's really hard to get those back. He's basically broken your marriage bond and you'll either be able to fall back in love with him, or you won't. For me, it was from fear of being betrayed again. I forced myself to get over it, and then a few years later, bam, he cheated again. My body knew all along. Wow. This is exactly why we can't get comfortable. The last story is titled. Stuck. About two months from D-Day. I deployed in February of 2020, and bought my wife and I a house in another state, because we were moving when I got back. She moved our whole house with her brother while I was on deployment. We had normal deployment struggles, with opposite days and nights as I was across the world. I had a bad feeling in my gut, but no real proof. Fast forward to September, I get back and we are readjusting to living together again. Again, something that is normal for being on a deployment. She seems different, and again I have a weird feeling about her new friends and lifestyle changes, but just sweep it under the rug as normal. Fast forward to December, things are beginning to feel like normal. We had a few big fights over the months, with her threatening me with divorce because she doesn't feel loved. Which, I have no idea how she feels this way, because I'm very loving and give her my first thought always. I feel as if my whole life revolves around her to the point I'm not myself sometimes. But December 9th, I am given a handful of photos from one of her friends. The photos are of my wife with another man of them together on trips, embracing, some of him shirtless. A man that was just a friend, and I was being ridiculous questioning her about before. None of the pictures completely damning though. My first thoughts are I'm being dumb, they are just friends, and I'm sure she has an explanation. I feel as if I've been trained by her at this point that I get jealous for no reason. After confronting her friend and her brother however, I find out the truth. She's been having an affair with this man for months while I was gone. I'm devastated. But can't say I'm completely surprised. I confront her about it and she admits to the affair. Saying she was going to tell me eventually, just didn't know how. She explained that she didn't feel enough attention or love while I was gone, and that this man made her feel like a person. She has bad bipolar and ADHD, and claims she was on a manic high. I'll never forget this, she says, I wanted to know how it felt with another man. She's remained friends with this man after I got back, and has lied to me to go hang out with him alone. Saying she's going out with girlfriends, when it's actually him. I've caught him in her phone before with heart emojis, but again, she would just say that they are just friends. I would notice that she would have hidden alerts next to his name and a few others in her phone. She claims she ended the affair when I got back in September, wanting to work things out with me. But I don't believe her. I've found pictures on her phone of them together while I was home, and even one of them laying in bed together. Text messages saying that she misses him. It just goes on. She swears up and down she wants to work things out with me. She said she's sorry, but can't guarantee it won't ever happen again because of her mental issues. Which I have given her the benefit of the doubt on so many issues, including mental abuse, in our relationship because I know she is bipolar. She has taken steps to be better, wanting counseling and therapy for medication. And here's the kicker, we had been trying to have a baby for about two years. Never successful. But all of a sudden, shortly after I find out about the affair, she's pregnant. She swears it's mine, because she says she hasn't been intimately active with a man since September claiming he has a vasectomy and that they used protection. But I can't believe her, I have no trust in her. If this child is mine, I've been robbed of all the excitement of having a child because of this affair. I just feel lost, and go in between hating her and wanting a divorce, and wanting to work things out. We are in our early 20s, and I've divorced slash remarried her before because she cheated on me while I was in basic training, and left me for a woman afterwards from 2016 to 2017. So this is the second time something like this has happened. Since finding out, I feel like I've went into denial. Pretending like it never happened, and like everything is okay. But this past month it has begun to hit me really hard. She claims to have told me everything about the affair, but I know she hasn't told me everything. To be honest, I don't think I want to know. I'm not sure I could take the whole truth. I know the logical answer is to divorce her. But I can't get that voice out of my head saying what if. I do still love her and care for her well-being. We are best friends, we've practically grew up together. Her parents are dead so she has nowhere to go. She's financially dependent on me. She would have nowhere to go if I kicked her out and divorced her. I feel terrible and like there is no right answer to the situation. 
I would feel terrible leaving her out to dry, especially since she's pregnant. I have individual counseling coming up, hoping that can help sort me through my thoughts. I also applied for a credit limit increase so I can possibly pay for a non-invasive prenatal paternity test. I apologize if this is hard to follow or read. I know I've probably left out certain details, just looking for a bit of support or advice. Now for the advice. She's financially dependent on me. Dude this sucks, but you're her meal ticket. You're there for the home and food, he's there for her fun whilst you're away. How many more chances are you gonna give her? You divorced her before, and she's still back at it even knowing the consequences, and that you're prepared to follow through with on it. This is hopeless and will never get better. I know you love her man but you need to love yourself too. And right now, you're treating yourself like crap by staying in this situation. Life is long buddy and you do not want to do this the whole way through do you? She's a serial cheater and won't change. If the kid turns out to be yours, then one sane safe parent is the best this kid can hope for, and that's obviously going to have to be you. You don't have to and shouldn't be with her just because she's pregnant. And good god get a paternity test. She can live with her brother. Don't waste your life and stay with this fraud. Also, don't get remarried until you are out of the military. Wives and deployment don't mix. No they do not. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Why did you marry her again? I don't care if she has mental issues, she has much more there, that she is not dealing with and has not. She should have dealt with all that before you married her a second time. Get an STD test ASAP. You can't trust her word at all. They can do a DNA testing to confirm the paternity of the baby, before it is born. But know this, if yours, you are tied to her for the rest of your life. And you can divorce her but still be a co-parent. Lord knows this child will need at least one good parent slash influence. She cannot be friends with this guy at all. If she wants to save the marriage, she needs to stop that immediately. She also needs to go to therapy and more than taking care of her issues that are diagnosed, she needs to dig even deeper to figure out why she cheats. She cannot have any privacy with her social media, email or phone, you should have access to it all and she cannot lie to you anymore and must be truthful. Can she do that? Did she do that for the second marriage? No, so she is fighting an uphill battle, and her excuses are just that excuses. Her cheating has nothing to do with you, but you need to deal her out consequences now. She needs to get a job. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.